just wanted to show you a couple of uh, things I've done to my Model 3. Um, for one, in a past life I was uh, in software and I wrote my own little home page. Um, so on the top left there, you know, I have some weather. I have an air quality uh, report from nearby my house. Um, I've embedded windy.com so I can see wind direction. Uh, this is my cue for garage door openers, Wi-Fi garage door openers. I do have uh, the home link set up as well here. Um, but the uh, home link only supports three doors. I have four doors across two houses. So I can push. And I have the, the Chamberlain MyQ Hub up there. And this will close my door. So uh, also have the uh, some stock quotes there, some shortcuts um, just to different websites that I might happen to use. A lot of those are other dashboards uh, for Tesla. And then down here, sunrise, sunset, um, some things like that that are just interesting things. And then this should uh, ultimately refresh here. One moment, there it goes, and now I can see the doors closed. So, in any case, um, that's one thing. Another thing is, um, I don't know how many of you know what a curry hook is, but I just basically have a little um, hook that I've velcroed, uh, or it's actually a velcro hook that I've put on the back um, of the screen right here. And the idea is. <clears throat> can do something like that for takeout or a trash bag on a road trip or, or something like that. Um, I've had a couple cars like Land Rovers. I've had them in the past. It's just a convenient thing. The Tesla didn't have it. So I've just found, a, again, just a little hook. Um, found it on Amazon and stuck it on the back. It works pretty well. I actually held a half gallon of iced tea and a couple of cheese steaks and um, bag of chips the other day I was actually surprised it held it was probably six plus pounds well, another thing I have is a phone mount on the steering wheel this is all RAM equipment um, this piece here really just kind of tapes on and um, you have to be careful of the steering column um, so this is the column all the way back against the dashboard and when I step on the brake It'll go to my driver profile and it opens up and you can see a little bit more room back there. So if you do that, you know, just be careful of the placement. But it's um, just a short ram arm with the sticky base there. Uh, and again, this is about my angle on it. And I just slide the phone up like that. Not that I recommend using your phone too much, but if you like your like a dashboard, uh, like Ulysses Speedometer Pro, or you wanna do any, you know, zero to 60, or bring up Scan My Tesla, or anything like that. Um, it's a good way to do it. And it just disconnects, you just gotta push it up and in, push it up and release it. Um, so that works pretty well. Um, I do have the wireless charging pad, it's the, the, the Tesla pad um, that I've um, put in here, it works pretty well. And uh, let me see, last I'm going to show you, I put the auto open struts in both my frunk and my trunk. Um, so they work okay. The trunk one works pretty well. The frunk works in warmer weather. Let's say in the cold weather it doesn't, or sometimes it takes a really long time. Um, so if you do it far enough ahead, by the time you walk up to the car it might open, but other times it'll just stay down and you kind of give it a little tap with your fingers and it'll pop up um, in here um, yeah this is a model year 2020 I did put the uh, these little flip up hooks they were on like Etsy or something for like three dollars or five dollars it wasn't a big deal um, but this was interesting I just wired this so the battery sits right about here um, I have the uh, I have an Anderson or it's not actually an Anderson it's some knockoff brand but um, this is basically tapped right into the Anderson with some six gauge cable winds up and, and taps into there so that I can run um, an inverter so this will plug right in 
it powers up this little inverter. Um, if you know anything about inverters, they're like way overrated. So that says 1500 watt, it can't do anywhere near that. Um, four to 500 watts, pretty much no problem for it. Six, 700 watt. Um, it can run it continuous, it gets really searing hot. Um, anything above like 700 watts, pretty much a no go. It might be able to do a transient. The 1500 watt is like a peak rate, uh, maybe for something to start up just for a split second. Um, but, uh, but in any case, I've been using this for a couple of years. I've used it on my Ford Focus electric. Um, I can just run critical stuff in my house in the case of a power outage. I can, uh, you know, plug in a refrigerator. I can, uh, run the network. Um, I have a battery backup on my router and Wi-Fi and, um, disk station and all that kind of thing. Um, pretty low power stuff. Um, so when the power goes out, I can basically keep the house running it's uh you know poor man's uh power wall there so um until i do get a real power wall set up that's uh it's about the best i can do um it, it works okay like i said it's, i've used it on other cars um you know you do have to make sure the car is on in some fashion so that the dc dc converter runs and uh keeps the uh, 12 volt battery topped off um the six gauge cable was an upgrade, a uh, significant upgrade. The inverter came with like a 10 gauge cable. Eight gauge, you know, they got super hot. The eight gauge was a little better and I went to a six gauge and this actually works pretty well now. So, um, so that's it. That's pretty much everything. Uh, just wanted to show you today. Just a couple little things that I've done to personalize my Model 3 and make it work for me. Thanks.